I'm Gary Martin, one of the PGA pros from Huddersfield Golf Club and today we're here for our sixth lesson with Tahid in our challenge to get a new golfer to a mid-handicap golfer in 30 days. You might be wondering where Tahid is. He's got here a little bit early to warm up. This is uh, his... Tahid, how are you? Hello. So we're here for the putting lesson. Yes. How's it going so far? It's uh, it's very fast. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you have to be very very meticulous about the speed. And I think T's got a great point here because for new golfers, I think speed is the or, or distance control is yeah. the hardest part I of putting. So. I think it so. really is, and I think most new golfers generally tend to overhit putts. Yes. You know they find it hard to get that finesse, and and that's what we're going to teach Tahid today. Thank you. So first things first, we're going to give Tahid a little bit of tuition on the actual technique. So how to stand to a putt and how to make a basic stroke. That's the first thing we're going to do. Yeah. Alright, so when we stand to a putt, we need to get the ball, or sorry, we need to get the feet shoulder width apart. Okay. Okay. We need to play the ball just in front of centre because we want to strike the ball just as the putter's on its way up. Okay. So we don't get sort of we don't hit the ball into the surface and it jumps. Right. So ball just in front of centre and then let your ha your arms hang underneath your shoulders. So let your arms hang. Try not to have this kind of action. Try to get your arms hanging quite naturally. So you need okay. your arms, I would call it a ready position. So not like a robot okay. and not too relaxed. So just in a state of readiness so you can control the club head. Okay. And then using your shoulders Try to stroke the putter with control. So try to work on the speed of stroke nice and controlled like this. Okay. You only need a one lever system. So you need one motor when you're using a putting stroke and it's all from your shoulders. Okay. So we don't want the second motor being your hands like this because that's going to help, you know, we're going to find it hard to control distance. Okay. So using your shoulders to power the stroke and controlling the putter speed and trying to get the putter moving straight back and through if you can. Right. Okay. okay. What we don't want is too much arc in the stroke because then it's, it's harder to control right. you know, the direction of the putt. Okay. So try to keep this leading edge as square as you can. Right. Now, okay. we're not going to get too technical because no. this is your first ever lesson. Yeah. So we're going to have a go at that. Okay. And then we're going to work on a little bit of distance control. Fine. Okay. Let me do exactly mirror what you have been teaching me and then we'll take it from there. Excellent, well done. That's really controlled, that's really good. Well done, I like that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So Tahid's got a basic understanding of the setup and technique, so we're gonna let him have a few puts. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a tuition, but don't tune off yet, because I'm gonna give you some fantastic drills for distance control and that's going to be really helpful to anybody that's just got into golf you know okay. struggles for distance so we've set up a ladder drill for Tahid in six feet increments and he's going to start at the beginning of the ladder and he's going to get his feel for a six foot pull Let's see how he does with this one. Excellent, well done, well done. Well done, so when he comes to the second part of the ladder now, he's got to adapt to that. So we've got double the length of putt, so we need a slight increase in the length of stroke for this one. So use the length of your backstroke to control distance, not bad. Excellent, this is a good putt. Well done. I'm going to move this one out of the way for him. Just remember, Teed, on this next, on this one, what we don't want to do is increase the speed of your stroke too much. Okay. We need to keep the speed pretty consistent, but we increase the length of your stroke. That's right. how we're controlling distance. What's the difference between speed and length? So the length of the backstroke, you know, the, weight, the length yeah. that you take the putter back. Yeah. yeah. So if you 
take it back further and then yes. increase speed as well. Right. Okay. You've got yeah. two motors, you've got two, right. two, two different things to control. Okay. We just want you to control length of stroke and that will indirectly control speed as well. Okay. Well done, great touch. Excellent. Now I don't want to embarrass you here, and, um, but this is a lot better than the first push you did off camera. Right, okay. And I think this could be a fantastic drill yes. for you. And, it, yeah. and even for a low handicap player, something, someone like me, you know, your pros do this. Yeah. And this is the kind of drills you've got to be doing, guys, because all the greens are different paces. Yeah. We'll get, but one question I have, and you mentioned about different pace. For example, this is a practicing dancing floor. Yeah. Uh, do you think the other uh, green areas in this particular golf course yeah. will be exactly the same in terms of speed? Great point. Right. They, they generally are, guys. The green keepers will make the practice green the same pace as the course. Right, okay. Do you know what? I love the term dancing floor as well. <laughs> if you've got any, no any other names for the green, <laughs> Let Get them know. in the comments, guys. I want to hear what you call it because dance, I haven't heard dancing floor before and I like that one. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know in the comments, guys, if you've got any other names for what a green is. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, what do you think you learnt most today? I think uh, before that, I had in my mind uh, length of the stroke as well as the speed. Yeah. But you taught me today the focus on the length of the stroke. Yeah. And that's more convenient and probably more conducive yeah i think that's a great point so it, it, it simplifies it just having a one lever system just having the shoulders yeah. but i think if you try to control the length of stroke and the speed of stroke at the same time it, it's two factors or two elements to to get distance control and you know i think it's much easier if you just use length of stroke to control you know distance yes uh, at the same time i think uh, uh, to be honest i'll be doing a lot of uh, practice on uh, the green, yeah, uh, the dance floor. You yeah, like it? Yeah, I like that word. <laughs> uh, because it need a precision. You have to be very meticulous about yeah. it. I think a uh, uh, little bit variation. I'm gonna. It, it, it causes quite a variation in 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 the in the distance of yeah, the ball. Yeah, that's goes. a good point. I'm going to compliment compliment to here on one thing: his aim and his alignment. And I don't know where you've got this from, but he's very very good. Uh, Aim is simple because it's, it's a simple to aim something. Yeah. Difficult is controlling the speed. I think you can aim something with a bit of hand dexterity. Yeah. But controlling the speed is a different level. That's how I feel. So, so let us know in the comments, guys. As a newer golfer, do you feel that it's the aim or the speed that you struggle with the most? Because we both agree that uh, the we speed, do. the speed is the, uh, the hardest it's thing the, to control. Absolutely. Don't we? Uh, on top of that, you keep the terrain of the green as well, and you have to suss it out really well to control the speed. So tonight's lesson's just been a little bit of a basic sort of introduction to a technique to put, and then we've done a little bit of distance control. And don't forget the distance control, guys. That is the biggest part I think for newer golfers is having a couple of distance control drills. You'll be able to find loads more on YouTube, but the ladder one that we've done tonight is a great one to start with. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll leave it on that one. That's brought us to the end of our sixth lesson. Yeah. And I think we need to get playing. Looking forward to the seventh one. Keep sporting. Thank you. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. -bye.